Dum, 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 dum. La rola ya me explotó. Schools are growing faster than ever before in human history. Nowadays, it is quite easier to mistake some 14 or 15 year old girls as 20 something. In fact, researchers from several countries have shown data that shows puberty in teenage girls has dropped on an average 12 to 13 years old to 7 to 8 years old. But what is actually causing this rapid growth and what are the exact reasons for their physical and mental health? Well, in this video, we will explore about the reasons behind teen or tween girls' early puberty. Social media, the world is changing at light speed. Anybody can access anything in just few clicks. And social media just acts as a catalyst in this whole scenario. Watching infinite numbers of Instagram models, celebrities, influencers, portraying and promoting certain body types and beauty standards can subliminally affect naive young teenage minds. And those naive minds trying to achieve that beauty standards or body type and unfortunately end up looking much older than their actual age. Dust of routine in social media's natural norm. Feeling like beer pressure to gain likes and followers. A study by University of XX found out that girls who spend more than an hour on social media daily at the age of 10 lead to experience only starting their periods at the age of 12 than those who spend less time on online. And don't get me started with sex content, countless amount of explicit conning all over the social media. Other media in general can affect teens' mind by secreting neurochemicals like and vasopressin which basically signals the brain to secret sex hormones at the receptors present in ovaries, swell so growth and differentiation of breast tissues, and the lactiferin ducts along with the secretion of growth hormone which stimulates the physical growth and metabolism. A study by University of Copenhagen states that if adolescents exposed to explicit contents more frequently, they will excrete more and more sex hormones compared to those who don't and that's one of the reasons why teenage girls are growing these days so actually makeup products now it will sound typical but let me tell you makeup products is one of the reasons that is causing our puberty not only applying makeup on children can cause skin issues but also affect their hormones a study by uc brickley shows that certain chemicals present in makeup products personal care products can cause literally under Turns out some cosmetic companies use bisphenol or PPA in their makeup products and this product basically acts as an artificial estrogen. I wish this just ends here, but unfortunately we caught lipstick nail polish scented soap, shampoos, toothpaste, ATM receipts and so many products which contain halides and paraben which can literally mess with their endocrine system and timing of puberty studies from uc beacon shows that concentration of halides and parabens in one's urine during pregnancy can cause not as pubic hair to develop 1.3 months earlier starting their menstruation earlier than it should food Food plays an important role in teens' growth and overall development. Like right nutrition can help them to grow in a very healthy way. But in today's world, finding right organic product is like finding a needle in haystack. Milk has always been considered as a nutrition stink for ages, but in recent times, it's keen to know that some businessmen inject cattle yet again oxytocin to produce more milk and make more profit, causing tween or teenage girls certain body parts to develop much earlier. As it is specifically designed for working on female cattle, it affects our teenage girls more than the boys. And according to Dr. Nahul, oxytocin adversely affects growth hormones in minor females, causing their early puberty. Sugar and sugary drinks can also cause early puberty. Sugary drinks usually contain high glycemic index, resulting in high amount of concentration of insulin in body, which affects the secretion of excess sex hormones leading to early puberty. According to our article by The Guardian, girls aged from 9 to 14, those who consume more than one drink each day, two later have their periods 2.7 months earlier than those who consume twice a week or fewer. Well, meat is not a big culprit in this scenario. Well, factories use progesterone and estradiol, aka female sex hormone, to increase the growth rate and feed efficiency of the cattle, sheep, and beef. And if children consume those injected meat, accumulation of this hormone will automatically increase in their bodies, pushing them towards physical maturity. According to a study by University of Bristol claims that high meat consumption at age 3, which is probably 8 portions, and 12 portions at age 7 respectively, always have a chance to have their early periods. But in my opinion, nothing is as dangerous as junk food. Presence of excess nutrients in girls' bodies can cause excess amount of secretion of luteinizing hormone, which causes excess amount of secretion of progesterone and estrogen at ovaries causing early 
obesity. In fact, frequent consumption of junk food can result in subtle path to severe obesity, causing a huge amount of lifting hormones to send signals for division of the hypothalamic pituitary gonadotropin axis, resulting in excess amount of sex steroid production in children's body in affecting with onset puberty. According to a study by University of Glen found out that children who consume energy dense foods such as chips, biscuits and chocolates had a higher risk of early puberty than those who consume more fruits and vegetables. Mental health Take mental health in teens is not enough talked about in mainstream media. A survey by Pew Research Center found out that more than 42% of today's teens feel pressured to get good grades, 31% to look good, and 70% to suffer from major problems such as depression and anxiety. From academic societal family pressure to personal peer pressure has caused a lot of stress in today's teens, and this affects the excess secretion of cortisol, which is basically responsible for our physical and emotional challenge response, affecting our hypothalamus, which is basically a part of our brain which controls the secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone and this gonadotropin hormone is basically responsible for secreting luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone producing progesterone and estrogen along with secondary sexual characteristics such as breast growth and tear growth initiation of menstruation and in fact stress can also affect our dd structures by shortening our telomeres telomeres basically decide how many times a cell can divide and renew itself and frequent stressful situation can revelish the shortening of telomeres resulting in faster aging according to a study by charlie bittol claimed that children who suffered from stress-related trauma such as violence abuse have shorter telomeres than those who don't resulting their cells and tissues aging faster than normal and also leading towards mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, as well as diabetes and heart problems. Socioeconomic factor Now, the socioeconomic factor plays the most subtle yet impactful role. And in 21st century, our society have made things much more competitive than ever before, including academic stress, body image to over-sexualization. Additionally, child pageants, certain TV shows, web series, online world has imposed standards of beauty, sexuality, maturity that are often unattainable or inappropriate for their age. According to to a study by British medical journals, girls who watched more than two or three hours of television per day, especially programs with sexual content, are likely to experience early menarche than girls who don't. Sometimes it's a cultural thing for some girls to grow up too fast, so then to take part in rituals, child marriage, or even child or teen pregnancy, especially in some underdeveloped Asian and African countries. But in my opinion, wealth is the most important factor here. According to a study by Millennium Cohort, girls in the poorest income quantum were is as like to have begun their menstruation compared to the girls in the richer income quantile. As species, when social conditions become so much unfavorable, we may be programmed to accelerate the process of puberty and reproductive maturity. Plus, lack of access of health services, information and contraception can increase the risk of unintended pregnancy, sexually transmitted infections, maternal mortality, causing them to grow up quite early. It is important to raise awareness and provide support for our teen girls who are experiencing early as well as address the underlying causes that are causing this phenomena. Although it's not an easy task to control all the factors that affect our puberty, but still I encourage teenage girls to take care of your physical and mental health as much as you can. If you ever feel something is wrong with your body or mind, please do not hesitate to seek help from someone you trust. And if you learned something from this video, please do like, comment and subscribe to this channel, so the algorithm knows that this video is worth watching. Till then, take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.